Well, hello, hello, trainers, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Is any of you just tuning in? My name is Professor Tim Burn, and I'm here to make sure you're up to date on what's been going on in this crazy world where Pokemon have been mentally changed to speak and think as humans do. Now, last week, our wonderful trainers took fight to the snowsome caverns to find and rescue those taken by the hug. Now, after getting healed up and making a quick shopping trip, they began making their way through, annihilating various ditto ninjas and capturing a few new Pokemon along the way. Their path then became blocked by a Diglett that had been evolved with a Snock Stone to have a rather large muscular body. These snack stones put those 30 day exercise programs to shame. Getting a beach bod has never been easier. After obliterating the swole mole, they progressed into the large sanctuary of the snowsome caverns. It turns out that Sephira and Dr. Patania have a bit of a history. Long time friends no less. Having met back in high school. On top of that, they grew up together at the town nearby and knew these caverns well, even having a secret spot where they'd stow away various snacks for themselves. Inside this spot, they found a package left behind for the team, containing three snock stones and one of the evolution trailers. She then gave further explanation as to how the stones and the triggers work. You see, the Snark Stones are evolution stones that have been modified by Snark's powers, allowing them to make modifications to the DNA of their user. Now, I'm more of a zoologist than a biologist, so this is not really in my realm of expertise, but it appears these DNA modifications will get rejected by the body after some time. And that's where these evolution triggers come in. By triggering an evolution, the modified DNA then gets accepted, causing the change to become permanent. I personally speculate that pokezones are what are being added or changed, but unfortunately this is merely a recap video rather than a science lecture. Oh, but how I miss lectures. Oh. Maybe one day we'll finally have some sense of normalcy. Anywho, our heroes then started to make their way out of the caves, only to be interrupted by Team Rage Shadow, led by Admin Katrina, the former champion. She then revealed that the government has footage from the gym back in Hallsville of Sephira transforming from her dragon form into her human form having now been identified as the secret hero that had caused the government many problems in the past, Sophia found that she has now been stripped of her title as champion and now has a bounty on her head. What a friendly bunch. But Captain Carp and Baron Von Baron secured their escape by taking Admin Katrina hostage, forcing all of the grunts to let them leave. Quickly, they tied her up and mounted their dragons to flee the scene. And that's where we are now. Now, I must get back to my research. I've finally been permitted to research on a certain legendary. Oh, it's so exhilarating. It's been a very long while since I- 